Okay, so let's finish up our laboratory 11, which is gravimetric analysis. We have allowed our sample of calcium carbonate. We have allowed our sample of calcium carbonate to dry fully. We now have this nice dry solid. And now we are gonna record the mass of our solid plus our weighing paper plus our watch glass. So I've zeroed my balance. Everyone see the zero, zero. Now we're gonna place our watch glass with our weighing paper onto the balance. And just to make this a little bit easier to deal with, I'm gonna fold the weigh paper. Okay. Let me fold the weigh paper up just to make it a little bit easier so that way we can see our So that way we can see the balance a little more clearly. So here is the mass of our weigh paper, solid, and watch glass. So I'd like you at this time to record the mass of our solid, our weigh paper, and our watch glass. Just for your reference, just for your reference, I'm going to take off the weigh paper and you can record if you haven't or if you missed it last time. Here is the mass of our watch glass alone. Okay, so now we're going to take our sample off and we're done with that. That is our calcium carbonate that we collected and we generated from the reaction of calcium chloride and potassium carbonate. Now we're also going to check in on our sample of calcium chloride. Now you may have a pretty nasty puddle of calcium chloride in water. Calcium chloride is hydroscopic, it picks up water. So let's record the mass of our weigh boat and calcium chloride that we left from last session. And as you can see, we picked up almost, we picked up almost two grams of water as our final mass is five grams. Just as a recap, just one more time for those who missed it, here is the mass. So here's our weigh paper plus our watch glass plus our calcium carbonate once again. Perfect. For those following along with their box kits, is everyone okay? Did everyone finish their weighing processes? Did everyone finish weighing their samples? Can I get some feedback in the chat just to make sure everyone's on the same page? Okay, perfect. So that concludes the mass of calcium chloride. Uh, let's do one more recap of that. Here is our calcium chloride and water. This is the calcium chloride we let sit overnight just to show that calcium chloride is pretty hydroscopic. Okay. So that is all the data that we need for this calculation. The initial masses of potassium carbonate and, cal cal and calcium chloride are found in part one of this laboratory recording, as well as the mass of the weigh boat alone. Both of, both of those data pieces are found 
in part one of this experiment in our laboratory recording. So with that, you'd have all the data you need to complete your calculations, and we'll discuss those calculations shortly. Um, professor? Mm -hmm. um, could we